Now let us consider this question. P varies jointly as a square of R and inversely as a square root of Q. If the percentage change in P, uh, sorry, find the percentage change in P if R is, in, is decreased by 10% and Q is increased by 5%. So how do we go about this? First of all, you write the equation connecting P, Q, and R. Uh, and then you have to put a constant of proportionality. Let's say K. So you're going to have an equation that is um, P is equal to K Q squared over sorry, this is R squared over the square root of Q. So that is uh, our general equation. That is the first P, the original P. Then you are told to find the percentage change in P if R is decreased by 10%. So our original R is 100%. So it's 100%. You subtract subtract 10 and you will get 90 percent so 90 percent means 90 over 100 so it's 0 0.9 so our r is now 0 0.9 our new r after the change is 0 0.9 of the first r then q is increased by five percent this was r so q was 100%, you increase by 5, you get 105%. 105% 105 is 105 divided by 100. So you will get 1.05 of the original Q. Then you bring these uh, numbers now into the equation, you factor them in. Our P2 now, that is after the change, will be K multiply by 0.9r squared over the square root of 1.05q. So we have factored in now the changes. Uh, if you look at this and you compare with the original equation, when you compare this original equation and now our P2, you will realize that the change is only in the numbers, the 0 0.9, and the 1.05. So to continue there, what you just need is to factor out the numbers. You don't have to continue with the variables, the R, the P, and the Q, and even the K. So just continue with the numbers. 0 0.9 squared over the square root of 1.05. This is the change. This is the change only. And when you work that out, you will get 0 0.7905. This tells you that uh, our new P, now P2, is 0 0.7905 of the original P. And we want the change. We want to get the change. What was the change? The this is now, if you want to get back to percentage before we get the change, we multiply back by 100. Remember here we are dividing by 100 to get the decimal. So let's multiply this by 100. So P2 will be, if you multiply this by 100, it will be 79.05% of P, P, the original P. So how do I get the change? P was 100%, just like we had taken Q to be 100% and R to be 100% here, and then you are subtracting. Even P, the original one, was 100%. So we do 100 minus 79.05. And it's going to be equal to 20.95%. You realize that the second P is less than the original. So this is a decrease. So long as this is less than one, it's a decrease. If it's more than one, it will be an increase. So you have to write the word decrease. So there is a 20.95% decrease in P. So that's how you work out. The most important thing here 
is the numbers. That is the 10% decrease in R and the 5% increase in, in, uh, in Q. And then you change those numbers and uh, you apply the percentage. And when you are bringing in the numbers, don't forget, if R was squared, even that change will also be squared. If Q is under square root, even the change will be under square root. So don't take it out of the square root. It will be part of it. And then uh, when you're moving on, you don't need to carry on with the variables. And you work out until you get a change. If the question was find the percentage decrease, you don't have to write the word decrease. But if the question was find the percentage change, then you have to write the change. If it is a decrease, you write decrease. If it's an increase, you write increase. For increase, remember, this will be more than one. For decrease, it will be less than one. I hope it is clear and uh, in case of anything, you... You can still bring in more questions.